Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. I wanted to take a moment to show you some of the neat things coming out of the IIS team. Recently released is the SEO Toolkit, Search Engine Optimization Toolkit 1.0. This is something that builds directly into IIS 7, so directly that I can even run the IIS Manager itself, the same tool that I'm used to using as a developer. And you'll see that the Search Engine Optimization Toolkit is actually plugged in directly to the tool that I, as a developer, am already using to manage my sites. I'll just double click on that. You can see from the home page here that I can create a new site analysis. I can even edit and create site maps or work on robots.txt, all the kinds of things that are important to me when it comes to search engines. Here I'll start a new analysis and we'll make a test one and I'll just go ahead and search my blog. I don't want this to take too long so I won't make you watch it spider everything. We'll have it just go into a few URLs. And when I hit OK, it goes off and spiders my blog exactly like a search engine would and it creates a report. This was a short test report, but I'll show you a larger one that I ran earlier today. If I bring up that report, you can see that it is a lot of information. It found 51,000 links, but I can dig into that report and see specific violations. We see I've got SEO problems, I've got some content problems like invalid markup, and I've got performance issues. In this case, I've got a page with a lot of script code. We can see the pages with the most validations. We can dig into violation levels, seeing just those that are really important, like errors. When I double click on that, I get explanations in plain English that tell me the problem with the page and the things that I can do to fix that. I'll go ahead and click close and move on to content. We can see places where I've got maybe duplicate titles, places with large content. I've got some pretty big pages here that I'll need to deal with. I can also click on performance and see the pages that are really slow or maybe pages with many resources. There's a great deal of information in these reports and you can dig into them. You can even as a developer extend the reporting system and make your own validations and custom tasks. So if there's something that you think is a violation, you can plug in to the IIS SEO toolkit and have that show up right here in the same tool. You can make ad hoc queries building those queries against any of the information that's been stored in the database. For example, I could say something like content length greater than 15,000. I can make this as complicated as I want. Uh, it's a complete database of what's going on in your website. You can see the uh, results of that entire spider and even compare those results with previous reports. So you can see the process as your site gets better and better and you improve the SEO. All of this makes your site more attractive to search engines. All of this information that's stored within the IIS SEO toolkit is available to you both as a user and as a developer. You can customize the toolkit for what you need it to do. You can use any of the many, many standard reports, but you can also create new reports to capture the information that's important to you, whether it's broken links or performance, duplicate pages, slow load times, deep link hierarchy, all the kinds of things that you need to make sure that your site looks the best that it can, not only to the user, but to search engines. It's a free download, installs inside of IIS. You can download it now at www.iis.net, and I hope to see you again soon.